Hi. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel. This is Rob here at Smirking Gun Reviews. It's time once again to talk about Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. We're on uh, Season 6, uh, Episode 4. It's called Cold Yellow. What the fuck was that? <laughs> Look. In order to be subjective, right, you, you can't just say every, look, this isn't Breaking Bad, okay? This isn't Game of Thrones Season 3, you know, The Reigns of Castamere. Okay, I understand that. I really do. And I know that not every episode can be a home run. But I haven't seen an episode that had some amazing things in it that, made, that, I, that I also hated so much. On one hand, I get Agent May fighting butterfly bitch. Pardon my French. On the other hand, I have the return of Deke, my least favorite character of last season. On the other hand, I get this crazy scene with an autopsy. Spoilers, by the way, if you haven't seen this episode. I get this cool-ass autopsy where there's a bat and not a bird. I won't, those things don't look like bats. I'm sorry. I'm birds, I mean. There's a bat inside a dude. Didn't see that coming. And then it takes off. And it's still alive. On the other hand, I get some pretentious douchebags working in a tech company. On the other hand, I get to see Mac kicking ass for, for the first time in a long time. On the other hand, I have this character named Sequoia, who made me want to put my fist through the television. And then the stinger of... The... And then on the other hand, we get Agent Keller, who, played by Lucas Bryant, who I, I was so happy that was in this show, uh, has an incredibly look, credible looking death scene. On the other hand, there's a, again, this, it's a, I haven't been this conflicted <laughs> about an episode of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. in a long time. <laughs> this was just a mess. It was all over the place. It was giving me what I wanted and then making, and then like while I'm enjoying it, it's like somebody, you know, walking up behind me and, and smacking me in the back of the head. Completely taking me out of what I was enjoying. So let's talk about Code Yellow. Look, it's not a secret on this channel that I've, Bash Deke, because I don't like that character. I think the actor's fine. I've joked that he looks like Bradley Cooper's younger brother, but that's not really a joke. It's just an it's just a, what I thought when I see him. But I don't I don't think the actor's a bad actor. But what they did with him in this and where they put him, like I like the idea. He stole tech or he borrowed tech or whatever from Shield to restart the framework so he can make a video game company and make a bunch of money because he's stuck here in this reality that he shouldn't be in. And see, that's what I thought, that's where we were headed in this because he says to Deke, Sarge does, you're not supposed to be here. He knows this much about him, that the timeline and everything, he's not supposed to be alive in this, ex in this, in this existence. And then they introduced the, this, this, this Sequoia person and, and his buddy that turns out to be an agent of S.H.I.E.L.D., which was fine, until the end where he gets completely turned around by her. This half-awesome, half-woke douchebag episode. I, if my dad can predict what's going to happen in an episode where the bat flies into the vents, I know there's a problem. Okay. 
for like let's let's talk about Agent Keller. I was gonna put him on Death Watch. I was joking around. I'm like, this is the character they kill off. You kill off this character because he's the part, the third part of a love triangle between Mac and Yo Yo, and himself. And he's so good and he's so awesome. Of course, he's going to get killed. I did not expect it to go this way or in this episode. In fact, right before he died, literally, I went, oh, well, they're probably going to need him and before, like, to communicate with this organism. And before I could get that sentence out, he was splitting up into crazy crystals where I was like, oh, you know, he's going to have to, like, oh my God. <laughs> So, yes, that was awesome. It was amazing. I don't know what was going on in this, but they can't all be winners. But they gave me so much. I loved Mac in this episode. I loved May in this episode. I loved Sarge in this episode. I loved Chloe Bennett in this episode. Oh, yeah. Um, and it was great that she, again, gets to do something interesting with the, the material. You know, they write her as a video game vixen. Great! In fact, I love the idea of the framework being used as a video game. That could be a whole thing, but we've done the framework, so we, you know... And I thought there'd even be more to Deke's thing. Because aren't they there to find these bat monsters, right? So, who's, why were they there? He killed the guy that had the thing inside him. They took it to S.H.I.E.L.D. It gets loose. It kills Keller. Okay, so why was he going after Deke? Because if they're hunting these things, then does Deke have it inside him? Does he not know it? But I, I'm just, I'm, I'm not 100% sure on what's going on. And, and look, before anybody who just absolutely lets the sun rise and set on this show, which look, I love this show too. But you got to be able to, to say, hey, what the fuck was that sometimes? And so I, I don't really know what else to say about this, except next week looks a lot better. We get to go back to Fitz and Gemma and, and Sky or Daisy or whoever, in space again, and, and we get to see more of this crazy bat stuff. And more people getting crystals having bursting through every orifice, which was amazing looking. But I don't ever, I'm never going to watch this episode again. I'm going to try to selectively forget about 50%, of, 60, 50, 60% of this episode ever happened. And if I ever see that Sequoia character again, I will... Whoa, I will have to leave the room because that really, what was that? And I'm sorry that if you, if you were wanting me to regurgitate your opinion on this, but as in the past, I've got to be honest to how I feel about it. And not everybody, you know, is going to agree with me. Fine. I can take the heat. But again, just like Game of Thrones, you know, we're not, I'm not attacking the actors. I'm not attacking the production. I'm attacking the writing in this and the and the, the way whatever they whoever wrote this and however whatever direction this got approved for. Wow. And you know, there'll be some people that'll be like, yep, there's Disney being woke again. And I can't this time I can't even deny it. But that's just the way things change and uh, the uh the 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 wind changes and goes in a certain direction and, 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 and I don't even know what I'm trying to say here because I'm just, I'm irritated because part of me loved that episode and part of me hated that episode so much. I loved when May was fighting her with the phones and she's bashing her and it's like, would you feel like I make a call? Poof, poof. Um, but these people, now that we know that they're, they're there to stop these things, right? But, I don't know. C-Force, Sarge's C-Force is, is, is cool, but I don't know. Again, I'm, I'm just going to stop. <laughs> because I just... What? What was that? So anyway, look. I hope that at least the people that do like this video thought it was entertaining. 
If you hated everything that I said, I'm sorry. If you loved this episode, fine. <laughs> Everybody has the right to like what they like, and I will not knock you for it. I personally thought this was a this was a hot mess because it's hot here in Illinois, and uh, it was messy. So, <laughs> if you did happen to like this review, or you just thought it was fun. Please hit the like button, comment, share, subscribe, all that jazz. I was looking forward to this so much. Friday nights, it's the only time I watch network TV. <sighs> anyway, this is Robert Smirking Gun Review saying we will be back next week for Ages of S.H.I.E.L.D. Season 6, Episode 5. Hopefully it's better than this. Have a great night. Bye.